my appearance. I know I'm a little trashy looking. I just got off of work, so I'm very shiny and messy hair and all the fun stuff. Um, I just wanted to make a video. I, on my daily life, I pass so many people who give me judgmental stares or say little things underneath their breath that I don't know if they realize I can hear or they really just don't give a fuck that I can hear them. And, you know, when I was younger, those kind of things used to bother me. I mean, I still notice them, and I'm still, sometimes, it depends on my moods and stuff. I deal with anxiety, and some days I struggle with it more than others. So there's days where my anxiety feels like it is suffocating me, and on those days, I'm probably a little bit more susceptible, I guess, to the, the, the things people might say or how they react or how they look at me. But for the most part, I'm good. I get it. People are put off by me. They don't know what I am. They, they look at me and think, is that a cross-dresser? Is that, you know, what is that? Um, especially in a lot of the places I've lived, they're smaller towns. And the way I look at it, and and I look at it kind of in a positive way, I think. You know, I am stepping forward, I am being myself in these small towns that I have lived in, in hopes that it will help others who come after me and they become who they truly are, that it's a little less judgmental for them because it's already been done, it's already been seen, and so it's not gonna be so harsh for them because it was really hard for me starting out. I, you know, didn't know, and I mean, I'm still learning. I'm nowhere near where I'd like to be. And there's a lot of, like, other things I need to do to be where I want to be, like surgeries and hormones and, and things like that, that I have not, I have yet to do because I don't have the funds. Um, but starting out, I didn't know how to do makeup, and I was just doing, like, some eyeliner and lipstick and thinking, oh, that's, that's good enough, right? Um, it wasn't, by the way. It looked bad. Um, and I look back at myself at that time, and I think if that was me now, I think maybe I was maybe a bit more resilient or just more ignorant to the fact of what people thought of me, but then I, and that was probably when I was like 16 or 17, but then when I started to get older and my anxieties and things started to get a little bit stronger and more intense, that's when I realized that what people do and what they say and the little looks that they give you even though they don't think you realize that they're looking at you a certain way they impact you and they can hurt and I've been through it I have seen it I've seen everything um, I had somebody at one point um, come through one of my work lines and with a camera and said this is a faggot or something at Subway and those those are like the most that's probably one of the most intense things I've ever had happen to me and that was before I was even dressing the way I, I felt I was presenting myself the way I, I felt I was and I am trans and I've gone back and forth so many times with, with whether I am or I'm not am I just free spirited like am I just I don't have like a gender preference but I do and the more and more I look back on things I realize yeah I do I am female and that's always been how my mindset has been is female and I just you know it took me a little time to wrap my head around it and but this is who I am and I am trans and I'm proud of who I am and I'm lucky that I have friends who support me, I have family that supports me, and that's really awesome because in a lot, in this day and age, there are people that do struggle with coming out and coming to terms with themselves, 
And there are a lot of people that don't come to terms with themselves because they know the repercussions of how they may be treated. And it's hard and it sucks. And there's a lot of people who will never understand it fully. And I, you know, I have friends who don't understand it fully, but they still, you know, accept me and respect me. Um, so, I mean, just going forward from the, you know, from here, just know that there are people who know what you're going through and it'll be okay. Just be true to yourself, stick with the people that support you. And unfortunately that may not be your family and that sucks and I am so sorry that that's not, you know, who is there supporting you because that's who should always be there supporting you. Um, but what I want people to know is that it needs to stop. The, the little things that people say, the little looks that people give, I get it. It's something different. But you have to look at this and think, what if that was my son or my daughter? And what, what would I want, how would I want people to treat them? Would I want people to be hateful? And would I want people to say, you know, things under them, their breaths or give dirty looks just because they didn't understand it? You know, I'd rather somebody come up and politely just ask, just say, you know, hey, I don't really understand everything. What do you prefer? Do you prefer to be referred to as her? Are you trans? Are what do you, you know, what what are your preferences in terms? You know, we're not going to bite off your head. I mean, there's rude people, but I, me at least, I, I'm not going to. And I know a lot of the trans community are actually would prefer you to ask us what we prefer. If you're not sure, just ask. We're, we're not going to get mad. We're just, you know, it's okay. But, like I said, the things, the little taunts and things, it doesn't get to me anymore. I've seen almost everything that somebody could, you know, throw at me or say. I've, I've been lucky enough to never been, to never have been, you know, hurt or physically harmed. Thank, thank goodness. Um, because I know that that's a big thing in this era is to hurt or harm or kill trans people. And there needs to be, we need to get to a point where we can all just like sit down and have a conversation about it. Because I have met people who didn't get it. They, they didn't get it and they were kind of, you know, put off by it. But then we actually did have a, you know, we had conversations together and we got to know each other and it was fine after that, you know? Once we understood each other, there wasn't any issues anymore. And, you know, that's just, that's how it should be. We should be able to sit down and have a sit down conversation and just get to know each other. And I think that would, you know, I think that would fix a lot of the problems we've got today. So people just, just want to think their own thing, sit in their corner and not, you know, participate in learning about other people or what's going on. And if you just have the opinion of it doesn't, you know, it doesn't affect me, I don't need to know about it, I'm still going to be polite, that's fine too. I get that. I totally understand that too. So if that's you, cool. As long as we can be respectful to each other, that's awesome. I'm good with that. I'm great with that. So, you know. Uh, anyways, I hope everybody's having a good day. I'm good. I'm having a good day. Uh, and I hope that everyone's well. And um, just stay positive and be polite and be kind to everybody because you don't know what other people are going through and it's very important for us to just try and be understanding of each other. I am still learning this myself. I can be a rude person as well. So I'm not saying that I'm perfect because I'm not. And I know I'm not. I'm still working on it. Alright. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for listening to my rant. Goodbye.